Overwatch Ollie here. So I actually filmed this whole video, but I was reading a script that I had wrote in, which will be in the description if you want to know exactly what I said or go over all the information, it'll be completely written down. But because I was reading the script, uh, it didn't come out super natural, and I kind of sounded like a little child in high school trying to read a script. So a lot of stuttering, a lot of weird pauses, very unnatural. So for that reason, I'm redoing the video, even though I've spent hours editing this, and it's a lot simpler now. So that, that being said, let's get right into it. So the MIB 246 US. Uh, this is a computer, I've had it for about two years now, and I'm going to do a full review on it. So I feel like I know this computer pretty good. I'm not like a computer scientist or anything like that. I'm a telecom guy with electronics. But I have enough knowledge, you know, about computers and all that stuff to give you guys a pretty good, accurate kind of feeling on if this computer is good for you. So I'm going to go through a couple of points. The first one being the budget. So I paid about $1,200 for this uh, uh, desktop computer. And I feel like that's a pretty good price for a pre-built computer that has the specs that it does, which I'm going to go through later on in the video so stay tuned for that after these commercials no um so basically it's a bang for the buck um you're getting a pretty good computer for how much you're paying which is really nice but it's at the expense of a couple of things which i'm going to go through right now uh the first thing is you're getting performance over say a cool looking computer so if you wanted something that had RGB and a really cool case and all the stuff that I kind of want, well, this isn't really a computer for you. We're trying to get good performance for good video editing and good gaming. Like, that's the main reason you're buying this computer, because it's compact, it's easy to travel with, and it performs good. That's our number one priority is performance on a budget, obviously. So you're getting performance over, I guess, looks, let's call it, okay? Um, that doesn't mean this is an ugly computer. It's classy and it has the nice black and white uh, MSI kind of color palette, what they always go with. You know, you've got the nice logo. It's not, it's not an ugly computer, you know, it's not some like trash piece of junk thing. It's still quite classy. In fact, I would say this computer is dressed to impress. Um, before I get into all the case, oh, all the uh, specs, let's talk about the case. So this thing is really small. It's um, 6.4 kilograms and it's a 10 liter case. So I'm going to show you guys a video and you're going to see to what point this computer is actually quite small. Um, but before that, a word from the sponsor for today's video. Stay the fuck home. STFH is a free-to-play RPG for all levels of a gamers. Not only does this game save lives, but you get to stay in bed all day. So if you want to have a game that's going to blow your mind, use my promo code STFHOLLY for 19% discount. So stock up on your favorite snacks and lock yourself in your room and stay the fuck home. Yeah, you too, Overwatch Alley. Stay home. Definitely a 100% a real sponsor for this video. I'm very rich now because of it. So inside this computer, you're going to find the Intel Core i7-7700. You'll get the GTX 1060. Um, it comes with the chipset, the Intel chipset B250. Uh, it obviously comes with Windows 10, like most computers these days. And this is something I really like they, that they did with the design of the overall case. Uh, there's two SSD slots on the outside of the case. So when you take the cover off, you have direct access to it. So in terms of design, that's super smart. And also in the middle, as you're going to see in this video, there's a, a place for the RAM for uh, channel 2. So here's what I kind of don't like in terms of the design. You've got your case like this, and you have channel 1 on the inside, and channel 2 on the outside. I kind of have bigger fingers, they're not like huge, but they're, they're a little bit bigger. And I have trouble getting inside, and I had trouble taking the, S, uh, the RAM, pardon me, the RAM out, because I couldn't get my fingers in there, so I had to use a bunch of tools, and it was kind of complicated. I feel like if you have small hands, or like, I don't know, like ch children hands, 
you won't have a problem. If you have, like, stereotypically big hands, this might be a bit hard for you. Um, speaking of RAM, so the RAM this comes with is 8 gigabytes. It's only one channel, so one stick of RAM. And realistically, 8 gigabytes of RAM is okay if you're playing games like Minecraft and Overwatch and any game that doesn't require like a huge amount of RAM or like really strong processing power. Um, you're okay. You can play games that demand a lot more, but you're gonna have to play them on slightly lower uh, graphic uh, settings and stuff like that. Um, so that's that's the overall of the computer. Now I'm gonna go into a little bit of details. Uh, if you're really curious about like the, the nooks and cranny of this, watch this part. If not, just skip ahead maybe like 30 seconds maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so in the front, um, you see there's a super nice power on off button. I don't like the fact that the light flashes because at night it's super duper bright. So if it's in your room, a little less cool. Um, you've got a 3.1 and a 2.0 supercharger USB. So that's good if you like to plug your phone and charge it. Um, there is a VR HDMI output. So this is a VR gaming computer. Uh, so if you have a VR headset, you're good to go, man. Uh, I don't have one, so I can't say I've never tested it. Uh, if anybody here has this computer and has tried VR with it, let us know in the comments. Um, uh, next part is, now we're gonna talk about the back. So in the back, you have four USB 3.1 uh, type A inputs, so that's super good. Like I have literally everything attached to this. I have my mic, I have my webcam, I have my mouse, my keyboard, my uh, Razer uh, RGB glowy thing. Like, like I have a fuck ton of shit attached to this and it works super good. If you're enjoying the video so far, feel free to hit the subscribe button and even hit the notifications because I not like I over spam YouTube with videos, so when I do make one, if you like the stuff I'm making, you should definitely know. Because my videos, they have everything. They have tech, they have gaming, they have cats, they have everything you can want. So yeah, so far I've hit 200 subscribers, or 206, 205, you know, it fluctuates a little bit. But uh, I'm really glad, it's super cool. I'm happy that people are liking my videos and that um. You know, there's a couple people out there that I'm hitting. Obviously, I get more views than I do subscribers, but I guess that's really normal because I don't make a lot of content. But um, yeah, if ever you found this uh, useful, like I said, hit the sub and notifications. So let's talk about the things that are less fun about this computer. The stuff that, you know, is kind of annoying, but not a deal breaker. So right out of the box, you get a mouse and keyboard, which is actually pretty cool that MSI did this because if you're on a budget, you might not have that already. So that was really cool. The downside though is that this is probably like the worst mouse and keyboard I've ever used. In fact, this I have a nice mouse and keyboard um, from Razer and stuff, but I took this and I literally put it in the trash. Not actually, but I just got rid of it. Like it's it's pointless. It's a terrible mouse and keyboard. But if you're on a budget, it might work out for you. Uh, the second thing, the fan is really loud. Which can be super, super frustrating. Um, like when I record these videos, right now I've got a, uh, a laptop in front of me so I can do the autofocus and all that. But when I record and that computer is on, it is fucking loud. So that is not, that's a thumbs down, that's not fun. Um, and the main thing, which brings me to the next part of this video, is the RAM. So it comes with one stick of eight gigabytes of RAM. So if you're playing games like Minecraft, Overwatch, uh, any, any game that doesn't have a very, that, that doesn't need high amounts of RAM, you're not gonna have a problem. I played Overwatch on Ultra. I actually dropped the uh, down to, to high just because I felt like Ultra was too much like for my eyes and stuff. It was kind of, I don't want to say overwhelming, but anyways, this isn't a video about Overwatch. Um, you can play games on this thing. Like it's made for that. And you can play 4K, uh, I mean, sorry, you can watch 4K videos and you can do VR. So this computer is powerful, but if you want to play games at, that really demand a lot from your graphics card and need a lot of RAM and stuff, the graphics card for 
for example, only has three gigabytes of RAM in it, or graphic card RAM, um, and you only your actual RAM is only eight gigabytes, so it is a little bit not super strong uh, in that department, let's say. But you can still play most games. Like they will run, and you'll have a great time. But you're not going to play on the highest settings because this is a budget desktop. It's for people that don't have a thousand bucks or more um, to invest just in like RAM and all that stuff, you know, it's like you're talking 1200 bucks, that's super cheap for pre-built. Um, so yeah, so not enough RAM. I'm actually, in this video, I'm going to install the RAM and I'm going to show you a couple of problems I've had. Um, I do have fatter fingers, so it was really hard for me to do. just get the RAM in, which is probably the easiest modification you can do on a computer besides, I don't know, maybe put an SSD stick in there. Like literally putting RAM in is supposed to be easy. And this uh, computer is advertised as easy to upgrade, but when I was trying to upgrade it, I couldn't get the RAM in and I had to warn it, you gotta take some components out. And I just, I couldn't get the RAM in, my fingers didn't fit. Like it was super frustrating. It took a really long time and I finally got it in, so. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Um, so yeah, that was that was that was good. Oh, hey, sorry, I didn't see you there. I was just playing the new version of a uh, STFH with my promo code on the Switch version now. So uh, yeah, don't forget to use the promo code on this very real promotion. Uh, this pretty much sums up my video. So just to go over a couple of points is the fan is loud you'll probably have to eventually upgrade your RAM if you're really thinking of doing maybe like stuff that requires a little bit more like more hardcore video editing and uh, games that require a lot like stuff kind of like you know, Battlefront and all those games um, but this is still a really great option <clears throat> and I think for the price that you're paying on this uh, computer I really really highly suggest it. I haven't had any actual problems like the stuff I said in this video was very nitpicky like the fact that I couldn't fit my fingers and all that stuff uh, to put the RAM in is not the end of the world it's not a reason not to buy a computer so I highly suggest it I've had it for about two or three years like I said uh, in the beginning and I absolutely love this thing it's really really good and I, I really haven't had any big major problems so you get the thumbs up for overwatch ollie he, he puts two thumbs up for this one and um if you do decide on buying this computer i would love to hear about it in the comment section as i've said before in my other videos that's my favorite part about making videos is having people ask me if i can help them because uh, helping people is fun it makes you feel good about yourself and those people feel good too so it's a win-win situation um, that being said, once again, don't be shy to hit the sub button or hit the notifications. And I guess you could hit the like button, but I don't know, I don't have an animation for that. So we'll just go like this. Alright, Overwatch Ollie out.